Hello, my name is Claire Bolton and I'm the gallery manager at the Aurora Cultural Center. On behalf of the staff and board of directors, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Art Bites, our online series that gives you an insider look into the creative process of participating artists from our virtual exhibition, Beyond the Walls. Beyond the Walls showcases the art of the Uxbridge Artist Collective and it continues until September 26th. We invite you to visit auroraculturalcenter.ca and navigate to the gallery page and enjoy the exhibition. Joan and Jay Urima are a mother and daughter painting team. While living in Italy, they were inspired by the Renaissance painters and they've been painting together ever since. Joan is essentially a self-taught artist. After a career in nursing, she pursued her art full time. Jay is a graduate of the Ontario College of Art and Design, and her style combines classical realism with contemporary experimentation. Together, the two ran a successful art gallery for many years. Their works can be found in galleries in Europe, the US, and Canada, and in private and public collections. Please join me in welcoming Joan and Jay Urema. Welcome, Joan and Jay. My first question is, do you always paint together or sometimes do you paint on your own? Um, a good question. We paint large pieces together because- Because there's, there's room. It's fun. And it's fun. And we can talk as we're creating and, and actually share ideas. And, and it's, it's always evolving. It's always becoming not always what we started to be, but we just continue to paint on top of each other's work until we like what we're seeing. But what little ones we will work alone. And actually, we could show. Well, I could. I could. Here's a little one I'm doing for my sister's birthday, just a little babushka doll. And... Uh, um, you have mom has a vase. Uh, yes, but it's pretty treasured. It was my a wedding gift, and I. Oh, beautiful! Thank you very much. So sometimes, when you're inspired by a little still life or a little thing that you do as an exercise, we we'll work separately. But when we're working on a very serious piece, a larger piece, it's always uh, together. Yes. Well, how do you how do you begin the process then? Like, does one of you do a, draw a sketch, and then the other one? Well, the process, I don't know. The process begins with what's the subject matter going to be? And then we rip off that. And I, Sometimes we do a number of sketches, just little thumbnail sketches. You each do ideas. your own? You each do your own sketches? And then yeah. you combine them? Usually. <laughs> when Because we often paint the larger pieces a la prima, where it's like at once, wet on wet. So we're drawing on the canvas or the board and um, whatever we're, surface we're painting on. Um, and so those are the ones that become, they kind of evolve. And the huge one that you're showing in the video was a planned piece because it's so large. Um, you we sketched it in with pastel, we use pastel or chalk or pencil crayons to draw in so the pigment doesn't muddy the paint. You sketched it right on the canvas or you sketched it on paper first? Canvas. Right on the canvas. So you both did sketches on the canvas? Yes. <laughs> what a team. Thank you for that. <laughs> we have to practice. Yes. Yeah. You mentioned that the Renaissance influenced your artwork. Can you tell us a little bit about that influence? Well, it started when we uh, lived in Italy and, um, and we're quite inspired by that, that style of painting. Um, the artists would take, um, it was really a naturalistic realism style that they actually created three-dimensional objects for the first time kind of in painting history. And they would elevate simple objects. So we have a, an, our urn painting that is a good example of, of a Renaissance style painting using some of their techniques. As you see, this is, that is the same, um, that's Beautiful. it. But it looks far more exciting in a painting 
very dramatic. We, by using a, a style called chiaroscuro that was made quite famous with Leonardo da Vinci or uh, Caravaggio, where it's a light and dark. That's what chiaroscuro means. So that dramatic feel all of a sudden gives a vase, that urn, uh, a sense of importance. And then behind oh. the wood, we have a, a more lighthearted, because we don't always work serious, um, painting that is in a little bit of a Renaissance style. It was, it was, it was inspired by uh, an Italian artist named Pietro Annigoni. He painted uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth II around 1955 and became worldwide famous after that painting. But I just loved it. And he painted her in that Renaissance style. I see. As opposed to the usual portraiture in England. Yeah, he was born in Milan and then studied art in Florence. And I think <laughs> we were in trading so points as well. Instead of a queen, we made a, a queen cat. Yeah, Tana, who was a cat, was thought she was a princess. But instead of a scepter, <laughs> she has a paintbrush. And uh, perfect. Yeah, her, her pearls hang over one ear. Because a crown, we couldn't figure out how to fit it on. <laughs> we, we tried, but it, it doesn't fit. That is wonderful. I love Thank that you. piece. Thank Thanks. you. I think I understand a little more the influence. Thank you. Thank you. I know you ran a, an art gallery, The Magic Door, for 13 years. Can you tell us if that had any influence or any impact on your artwork? Well, that experience the first one is our input or output rather <laughs> became quite uh, limited because we spent an awful lot of time working with other artists. Yeah, working as administrators uh, and not as much on our own art as we would have liked. Mm -hmm. But then it was enriching as well. Absolutely, because then you got to see other people's art. And that was really, really inspiring at times. Yeah, and, and, and in, some, in some ways it fed our creative spirit as well. So the gallery experience was wonderful. And actually the, the wood doors that you're seeing behind are actually um, the living frame. Mom and I used to paint large format pieces for every different show. So depending really? on the theme, we painted on large MBDF boards that would be pulled out and put in. And those doors were actually hand carved by a local artist by the name of Joseph Lorenz. And um, they were called the magical doors and our gallery became the magic door because we, we could go through the magic doors. It was very inspiring. And yeah. we had a lot of fun. It was a good That chapter. was a wonderful piece. Do you have any other humorous pieces you could show us? <laughs> I love your yeah. sense of love to show you Mr. Wright. He's one of our <laughs> favorites. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that is, you know, with art, you got to have fun too. And so sometimes we're doing serious things like refugee in, in the show where it speaks to, um, you know, a, a problem in the world. And then sometimes you have to laugh. And I think that's art. Art does that. It, it can, it can bring out many messages. Well, it does it for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what was your favorite thing about running, running the gallery? Um, what did you love artists. about it? The artists, just uh, meeting people, um, actually, sharing. My work. favorite thing was hanging it. <laughs> Mom's oh, a natural. Oh, that is fun. I know. From it is. I love that. I, I, I got, so I was very particular <laughs> about where everything ought to go. <laughs> Mom's an excellent curator, and, and, and I always went to her lead because mom has a very good eye for spatial. But Jane is an absolutely wonderful hostess. <laughs> wow. yeah, it was, it was a weird experience. Fun. All the artists that you promoted over the years, that's fantastic. And I know another thing, meeting all the people who are interested in art. Yeah. That was an experience for me because ordinarily, unless you go to an opening or whatever, you don't necessarily meet people that sh share your interests. And I remember, because we're in a little town, and I can remember one day listening to some children walking by the gallery saying, and that's our art gallery. And I thought, my goodness, you know, those are the little artists of the future or the patrons of the future. So it also reached our community as a whole, which was oh, really important. Thank you for that. 
curious, you're a mother and daughter team, so people could think, oh, um, art talent runs in the family. Do you think that people are, that it's, that it isn't an innate talent, or do you think that everybody can learn to be an artist? Can you just give us a um, bit about the views on that? Bad, Jay. <laughs> I, I have very strong feelings about this. I think everybody's an artist. We're all born dancing and singing and drawing. We don't stop that until somebody tells us that we're not good at it or that we don't quite measure up. But everybody is born an artist and every little kid will draw and every little kid will paint and every little kid will dance. When we had the art gallery, I used to on Thursdays and Fridays, if the kids came in, I would give them a candy as long as they took the time to walk around and look at the art and make a comment, then I give them a candy. Because <laughs> I always figured they're the artists or the patrons of the artists in the future. And I think what happens is you get taught sometimes you did something wrong by maybe a mark in your art class. And the kids of comments where they'd see colors that were wrong, but yet so right, they would learn that art is a, is a personal expression. And I always figured that kind of healed that. Because when I was in art college, my first year, I'll never forget, a young woman came and said to me, oh, you're such a good drawer. I wish I could draw. And I looked at her and said, well, are you, you go to the art college? And she said, yes. And I said, but you don't draw? And she said, no, I can't draw a stick man, but I have a great sense of color. And I learned that art comes in all forms. And I think it's important for people to know that. But, so, Thank yes, you. everybody's an artist. <laughs> we'll Thank see. you, Joan and Jay. Yes. It's been wonderful having you here this afternoon. Can you tell us what you're working on now? Well, Jay, <laughs> the community library. It's, it's a lending library that a friend built and we've been asked to paint it. So we are actually, it's a pandemic, so it's not gonna be out in the street very soon, but so it gives us lots of time to fill it with books and mice and all uh, kinds of inspiration. Painted mice, not real yeah, mice. We're not real mice. And, and this is one of the little mice that we're inspired oh, by. Oh my goodness, um, that's wonderful. He's a prairie mouse. He's a prairie mouse. Mean, mean times. I'm just coffee Aww. and cookies. <laughs> That's wonderful. And we're working on it. And we're working on a large abstract landscape. That's a private commission. And um, so it's been it's been a nice in a strange time. Um, we've had a lot of time to paint through this pandemic, and it's been very. Um, it's not rushed. No. And, and gardening on the side, so we're creative. <laughs> Thank cool. you. Right Take now. care. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.